day 14 of our John O'Groats to Land's End hike and we're over 200 miles into the trip now and my ankle's not too bad this morning but I took some ibuprofen and it seems okay walking at the moment so that's good and now we're on our way to the next town at Invergarry along the Caledonian Canal so it's just really flat really flat canal walking and I'm using the old the old stick just to take a bit of weight off the ankle in the bridge right? and only fell through. <laughs> Jeez. This is an old bridge. I don't trust these planks. They're all bowing. It's half past 12 and we're on just over nine miles walk for the day and we're just leaving Invergarry and uh, it's just a little lunch break, found some toilets, topped up the water and uh, yeah onwards I'm not sure what's up ahead really. It's about 25 miles-ish to Fort William and there's a couple of locks where we can top up water and use the toilets and there's a couple of little villages and I think there might be like one shop um, but I'm not sure the distance is um, but it's between us and Fort William um, so I'm sure we'll be fine, we've got a little bit of food on us That's far too much Then you're going to put it back in the fridge so I've got to take one back but she was like, no, it must be two pounds. Yeah, that's really interesting, though. Tell mm. me more. So then I lost the veggies, so I had to take the biscuits and the spring onions. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting what you're saying there. It's fascinating. <laughs> I've just gone one o'clock on ten and a half miles, and my ankle feels a lot better. And I think the pole that I'm using just to take a bit of the weight off, I think it's really, really helping. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And, uh, oh, touch wood that it gets a lot better. a little place called the Barge Inn and uh, we went in it was like a little restaurant and uh, a pub. it was really nice and between us and Fort William I don't think there's any shops now uh, so it's 4 p.m. now and I don't think we get to Fort William until early afternoon tomorrow so we bought a couple of Kit Kats and we got a few other bits of food with us now we've just filled up the water we've got three litres of water it's 22 miles to Fort William. up a hill but it is worth it, we've got mini egg fudge, lovely, mm. Mm. that's really good fudge, I really really love the honesty boxes on these hikes because they normally come when you really want something sweet, <laughs> uh, it's just gone 6pm and we made it 17 and a half miles walk today so we're going to call it there, just come across this 
trailblazer sort of campsite -y place. Um, so just behind me in these trees here, there's loads of little camp spots uh, on Lake Lockie. This is Lake Lockie behind me, uh, which we're walking down towards Fort William. And this is a really nice place actually. We're allowed to just camp here for free. And they've got a composting toilet. And they've got like all these little fire pits again. They've got like a fire pit and more importantly, we've got this little, this little wooden shelter which means we can shelter from the rain. So there's a lot of rain due tonight and it's pretty much 90% chance of rain tomorrow morning, most of tomorrow. Um, so we can pitch the tent up next to the shelter and then it just means we can pack up in the morning in the rain and we can just quickly go in the shelter to make life a bit easier, put our waterproofs on and it looks like we're just gonna have to walk in the rain tomorrow. Um, but I'm happy to have an early night tonight, so I'm just going to chill for a few hours, get the tent up, probably go to sleep at about 8, 8 o'clock, uh, give the ankle a good rest. Um, but this is beautiful. There's a couple of, couple of swans back here, just there, bobbing up and down. It's quite cool to watch. Uh, but it's beautiful here on Lake Lockie. little place just behind the shelter through the through the trees see we've just set up back there and there's a lot of tree cover here I mean it's it's raining quite hard and there's no no rain here where I am so it's very nice um, so we should get a nice comfortable sleep if it rains hard at night there we go there's the tent just time to brush my teeth and get into the tent